Hey, what's going on guys? It's Y Gaming. We are back again with some more Survive the Nights. How are you all doing today? I hope you're all good. Um, what we are going to do today is go over the Dev Blog 16, which um, has got some awesome funky little bits to look at for the 1.5 update. Now, unfortunately, the 1.5 update has been pushed back a tiny bit. Um, so that's fine, you know, that if it's pushed back, that's great. Because that means they're adding things to make it much better and be great from the get-go. So if you're a massive Survive the Nights fan and you want to see more on this game, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We've got loads of Survive the Nights and loads of other awesome survival crafting games all over the channel. So we're going to jump straight into the dev blog and we're going to look at all the little bits and just see really what's what's going on from there and hopefully next week we'll be able to get our hands on 1.5 get stuck in check out these updates and um and all these structures and something that i've been talking about and wanting for a long time is finally coming a fucking drill yes so let's get stuck in hello all the team is hard at work player found issues obviously this is um pretty much the same start to each letter and um, the Check out the 1.4.22 patch. This will eventually become the next stable update. Check our changelog and feel free to join Discord. Below we'll go over the progress we've made with fortifications and some tweaks we've made after testing. We've taken a bit more time with this update as it basically changes the entire game. After testing, the team decided a few initial tweaks were needed, mostly the addition of added tools for fortifying. We will do our best to get this build out on experimental as soon as possible. Which... Um, I'm really excited for I cannot wait for new tools faster ways to sort of build up your house I mean if you play it already then um, then you know how difficult it can be to just do the basic building of your house and get it all ready to go and uh, and looking awesome just pretty much putting the locks on the doors can take um, to get them all up to full level can take a very very long time I mean I spend all my days out collecting and then all of my nights at home Sort of building up my fortifications and making sure my base is nice and uh, and sweet. And I did hear as well from a few people who said that 1.5 will come with a complete game wipe. Now, I don't know how true this is. So, I have been hoarding a lot of materials for the 1.5 update when it comes to stable. Um, I haven't done much on experimental. But if it does come with a wipe, then, you know, never mind. It doesn't really matter. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll see through it. It'll be fun. We, we got this, you know. Um, anyway, fortification improvements. We've had a few good tests now, preparing 1.5 for you guys and have decided to hold off on updating the experimental and default to put back a bit more work into the added mechanics. Zombie hordes are no joke. You'll need to fortify a structure or flee to survive. If the player chooses to stay and fight the horde, you will gain XP from it and they'll likely need to fortify a structure. So definitely that's um, something I'm really excited about. Obviously it's Monday and normally at this time we'd have a full video with loads of other funky bits and I did say in my last video about going into detail with more of the guides and things like that but once again I am holding off on that until 1.5 is at least in experimental so I can go for a few bits on there and uh, figure out some stuff for sort of base defending and bits like that but you know, it will come. I know, very, very sorry. I know this has been... I've held this off now for, for about three weeks. But hopefully, October, latest, we should start coming around with the um, advanced tips and guides on fortifying buildings and things like that. Anyway, when it comes to covering windows with planks boards, the current fortification method only allows for a hammer and nail setup. This simply wasn't fast enough in most cases, so we're expanding the tools a bit. You can now use a screwdriver and drill to apply fortifications. Um, oh, okay, that's with planks. The screwdriver is faster than the hammer, and the drill is obviously faster than the driver. You will need screws for both drill and driver. Nails still being required to apply the fortifications with the hammer. And as you can see here, they've uh, you can see the how much faster it is. Obviously, that with the screwdriver is going up by four. Uh, which is a lot nicer and then here we have the drill which is um, going up by 10 each time I wonder if we're going to need to find extra sort of batteries and things like that for the drill um, which would be really quite cool I wouldn't mind having to have to, having to actually do that I, I would like to see things like that I think it'd be really really awesome um, but then we've got 
this bit here. The drill as a weapon. I mean, how cool is that? He's literally butt slapping the dude. And the drill's called a Josh, not a Bosch. <laughs> oh, it's a shame it's not called a Bosch. I don't know. Yeah, in the UK, oh, so, some drill ma manufacturers is called a Bosch. Um, but that would be great because you could hit the zombies in the head and then I'd be screaming Bosch through most videos, which would be quite fun. Uh, the drill can also be used as a weapon. No screws required. That's quite cool. I like that. So, fortification preview. The initial 1.5 build will feature four types of replaced fortifications, concepted by a moderator, concept designer, num47, and created by Andre. Uh, the fortifications can be placed anywhere in the world and strengthened, repaired. So pretty much the fortifications are going to work out like normal window barricades, which we can upgrade, build on, and make better over time, which is going to be really quite cool. And I do like that. I like the fact that we will need to keep on top of it. They won't just be place your fortification, it gets destroyed, build another. There's place your fortification, you can expand on that, which I think is really quite cool, rather than just a bang, gone, bang, gone, bang, gone. Um, I, I do like that. Um, they can be completely destroyed, so keep on top of repairs and replacements if you want to keep that added level of security to your structures. These additions, you'll find you are no longer safe on top of vehicles. Oh no! Fuck! <laughs> that was my like nighttime escape. I used to love just jumping on top of a car. We'll sit up there. We are safe. No zombies can get us. Uh, but now the Zeds will attack and damage the vehicles to the point of explosion, killing you along with themselves. Bugger! Uh, <laughs> that's not good. Here we have some um, just some quick concepts of barricades. I like this bit here with the sort of spikes. It'd be very cool if you could sort of push zombies or kick and then you could boot them back onto that. Or maybe even if they land on the spike traps, they actually get stuck for a little while. So there's sort of like a stun effect when they land on the spikes. I think that'd be cool. And then implemented in the game, these are the four variants. So we've got one more with the wood spikes at the top. Um, I like that. It looks cool. But they can't climb, can they? Unless that's something new, which they've added, which I highly doubt. But they can't climb, so they can't really get over there. And I could, I suppose that could stop players, because I have seen quite a few people that park vehicles up along, alongside buildings, and then climb in through the second window, from where people haven't actually boarded up the buildings properly. And then we've got the spikes there, which are quite tall, which look like they've got barbed wire around them, as you can see there. And then normal sandbag and spikes, and then a uh, metal fence with barbed wire. That's going to be quite cool. And then here is a secure structure. Jesus, man, that is secure. That has been beefed up. I like that. That's what I want to do with mine. Which, once again, is another reason why we're holding off on the uh, on the update. On the, um, not update, sorry. On the um, sort of crafting tips and things like that. Because I just want to be able to actually go through things properly with you guys and say what what would be the best sort of defense rather than just um, guessing now, you know. And then I never even thought of using vehicles as barricades. That w that's quite a smart move. So if you can literally enclose your building in them, now the horde that comes at you, they're going to try and destroy the vehicles, and then <laughs> they kill themselves. Whether you get XP for vehicles exploding, killing zombies, or traps killing zombies, I really don't know. But that'll be something that we'll be able to test out when uh, the experiment is here. And then finally, thanks for your continued support and continued issue and suggestion reporting. And there's the links below. They are in the description as well, guys. So uh, make sure you check them out. And uh, that is it for today. And next week, hopefully... Things going well. We will be on 1.5. Checking that out and uh, and go from there. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you again next week with some more Survive the Nights. Peace. Uh...